So now we've just stopped off in Wan Lochhead. Wan Lochhead? I think I've pronounced that right. And there it is, Wan Lochhead Inn. Yeah. The top, the highest <laughs> pub in the whole of Scotland. And it's shut. I know, I'm gutted. Gutted. We really <laughs> wanted to have a drink in the highest <laughs> pub in Scotland. Um, but it's only 20 past 10 in the morning. Mazzy says, well, it might be open. We might be able to get a drink. <laughs> no, no drinks today. We've got too much to do. More things to see. Let's go. Apparently that pub only opened in 2003. Wow, okay. But it is still the highest pub in Scotland. There was a higher pub in Scotland, yeah. also called the One Lock Inn, oh. which was, I think, just over here somewhere. It said it was considerably higher, but that's not there anymore. That one is, uh, so that's now the new highest pub in Scotland. What are you doing, babe? Just having a look around bookshop. <laughs> the one lock head bookshop. I'm not joking, it's a telephone box and it's a bookshop. Yeah, well weird. <laughs> that is fantastic. There's a sign here. Take a book if you want, leave one if you can. Oh, that's quite nice. That's isn't fantastic. It? Now, is this the smallest bookshop in the world? <laughs> it's got to be close. You're going to love this one as well. How many people are in a library, get books from libraries? Look, you even got a little sheep behind it. That's real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> this is uh, one lock head for you. Um, this, my friends, is the oldest library in the world. Not the oldest library, the oldest subscription library in the world. Um, from 1756. So this library goes, without saying, it's the, the highest library in Scotland, I'm sure. Um, never heard of this dude. Robert Reed, author of Kirk Bride. I can't say I've heard of him. Um, yeah, it's in a bad way. Really bad way. The walls just look knackered, to be honest with you. And they do still use that library for talks and things. There was apparently a talk last night, a village talk. I don't know what they talked about, but yeah. One Lockhead. So we're at the top of One Lockhead now, pretty much. We were looking for the highest post office in Scotland as well, but I think you get the gist. Everywhere he is, the highest. It's the highest village in Scotland. So there is a lead mining museum at the bottom where we're parked and really wanted to go in that but it's closed for winter and they've got a lot of uh, things from here like lead zinc copper and silver which were mined nearby but also some of the world's purest gold at 22.8 carats which was used to make the Scottish crown comes from here and the place was known as God's treasure house interesting stuff right not happy not happy Parked up here and some dude has parked his van right in front of us. And not only that, he came up to the window, he says, you can't park here, pal. You know, really aggressively, like Scottish always talk aggressively, even when they're being friendly. It's Colin, here's Colin with little Bella. Yeah, you're on the video now. <laughs> yeah, little Bella. And he actually recognised us, so it's not too bad. <laughs> so how are you today, Dan? I'm good. I'm looking forward to getting off this high part of Scotland, to be honest. It's very dreary, yeah. very grey, <laughs> weather isn't helping, I'm looking forward to getting more where there's sights, proper sights, you know, but it's beautiful scenery around here. The scenery is amazing, it's just dreary. I keep seeing a few people who are gold panning, Can I'm I just really getting out really of the cars, go? getting ready to go gold panning. We will do it one day Mazzy, um, but on a warm day. Certainly not in icy weather as it is today. <laughs> and you have to pay five pounds as well, apparently, for to the get day. a license. Yeah. Or is that for the day? For the day, or oh, Colin said it'd be twenty pounds for the week, I think he said. Oh, okay. Or something like that, yeah. So one thing I'm doing for the first time today is using the TomTom Tom, uh, Go Camper Sat Nav system. I've been putting it off, I just want to 
I'm trying to get used to the van first, but now I'm used to the van, it's time to get used to this because there's a lot of narrow roads, there might be some low bridges, and I need to make the most of that. I will be doing a proper review on it, but so far, so good. The one thing I love about it is it actually tells me the speed limit of this road and the speed I'm going at. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, give it a try today. Are you getting stressed, Louder. Dan? <laughs> Volume. It's got like a voice control in it. I can't get the volume to go up. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to read it properly because I haven't gone into details with it yet. I need him to start speaking up a little bit because I can't hear you. Shouting at it ain't going to get you anywhere either though. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to make the place look pretty. Pretty? Yeah. Well, we're being frugal with the electric today, so I thought I'd get some lights out. Look, got, got some up on me trolls. These are battery operated lights. Yeah, I've got me Halloween candle out, look. <laughs> Halloween's over. No, I use that all year round anyway. <laughs> but I don't know where to put these What on. we could do, we could put a bit of duct tape over that and write Christmas. Use that for Christmas. And then wrap all that round there. Like yeah, that. I'm happy with that. It's actually quite pretty, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> So you're still bored, aren't you? I am. But you found something to do, haven't you? Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to make some cookies. Cookies? Yeah. Biscuits? Yeah, cookies. Cookies? Yeah. What's the difference between a cookie and a biscuit? Oh, they're cookies. Check what look like cookies. <laughs> what you've asked for? This is what I've asked for. Yeah. With no 20 pence pasta left, we've got posh mm. pasta. It's about 50, well it's usually a pound per pack, um, but it was two for a pound on special offer. So it's uh, like tomato pasta with square sausages, which you won't get in England, but they have to invent them in England because that's ridiculous. And some roast potatoes, cubed, and that's my meal, beautiful. What are you going to have? Roasties. Oh, cookies for afters. You're having roasties and pie? Well, or a bread roll, I don't know. Or a bread roll. Yeah. Wonderful. Get in. Telling you. This is the future. Pasta and square sausages. Mmm. So we've parked right next to some quicksand. Look at that. That is about... Ooh, 14 foot deep. Might not look it on there, but it is. If you stood on the top of there, you're not coming out. So this is our view for the night. What do you think, Mazzy? Are you happy? Is it okay? Well, I can't wait to see Nessie. Who? Nessie. Nessie? <clears throat> the Loch Ness yeah. Monster. Well, it's not the Loch Ness, <laughs> but he might still be swimming in here. No, he's not going to be here. He might be. Not in winter. It's not a bad view. It's just we were parked... How can I explain? Facing that way. But I've just seen a sign and we're meant to face that way so that five motorhomes can fit along here. And when we're facing this way, we're on a bit of a slant. Now we have got some chocks or chucks or whatever you want to call them in the boot, which we've not used yet. And I really don't want to get them out and try now. Won't be a good idea. No, we'll manage, we'll manage. Yeah. So yeah, this is a view, this is a night. We're going to leave the vlog at this and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Love you all. Say goodbye, Mazzy. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. Mazzy's quote of the day. This Ow. basketball court. <laughs> Mazzy, when she first saw these, thought these were basketball courts for kids. But they're not. They're like beacons for... Well, in Roman times, they used to use these beacons and set up a fire there. And then a few miles away down the coast, they'd see a fire. And it'd be like a, a way of signalling to each other, like Indians and stuff. <clears throat> um, but yeah, they're, they're not basketball courts. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs>